We are looking at fuel pump current here on the oscilloscope today. And what you can see is we've got about 9.5 amps or so that are being used by the fuel pump on this 2003 Chevy truck. Uh, as you know, Chevy trucks, well, a lot of GM stuff has a tendency to lose fuel pumps. Um, this particular pattern is a good pattern. Um, before this fuel pump was replaced here, you know, in the last couple of hours, we were looking at the uh, the current ramp before, and it actually looked fine, but we were using about 12 and a half amps. So our, our amperage has come down. This is a, a really good test, a really good thing to do. Generally speaking, and, and well, or I, I should say with some other fuel pumps that I've tested on GM products, when you get in the neighborhood of 12 amps, you could have a problem. So anyway, the way we've got this hooked up is right over here at the fuse box. You can see we uh, have this little adapter that is plugged in where the fuel pump relay is. So this adapter here, you pull the fuse out, we put the fuel pump fuse right here into the adapter, and then we have our low amps probe just clamped around that wire. So the way this works is all the current that is flowing to the fuel pump is flowing through this wire, and then our, our amp clamp is able to is able to read that by just, just clamping around the wire. So that that's where we are we're measuring our current. Back here on our oscilloscope, you can see down there on channel one, we have our leads set to low amps 20, and then we're looking at about the 20 amp scale since we're you know in the neighborhood of, of nine to ten amps. And that's all we need. Now if this if this pattern was was really bad, you'd see a lot of up and down variations. If the pump was, was binding internally or something like that, or if the pump was, uh, let's say the pump had high resistance in the, in the commutator, in the brushes, this, this amperage number would be something much, much lower. So this is, this is a good pattern here. This is a good amount of current that we're seeing. You come over here and you, you look at our gauge. Our pressure is supposed to be 56 to 62, and we're, we're, we're there. We're right there. So measuring current to the fuel pump, very, very useful. Uh, a very good thing to do, a very good way to determine what's going on in a fuel pump. When, when pressure and volume look good, it's always good to do a, to do a, a current ramp or to, uh, to scope the current with an oscilloscope. Having this little loop adapter right here, very, very handy when the fuel pump fuse is found in the, the underhood fuse relay box. So if you have an oscilloscope but you don't have a low amps uh, clamp like, like this one here, um, I would definitely suggest getting one because it is something that is definitely quite useful.